I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars What's up? Today Today's a day that probably a lot of people don't do in this YouTube world of fitness, magazines, putting out workouts, you have the typical four sets, you know, three sets of 10, four sets of eight to 12. We do a lot of that, That's, that, that has its place. Today, um, we're gonna be training more for functional and, ex and explos explosiveness. So probably a lot of you out there grew up playing sports, like me. I grew up playing football, basketball, baseball, track and I even wrestled until eighth grade. I did it all. I think that's the best way to become an athlete, an overall athlete. So you have good proprioception, you have good strength, you have good coordination. You have all of this stuff that you're, you know, you're out in the playground as a kid, you are, are running around and doing all these different sports and you feel and you look great. You know, as a kid, you're obviously, you can't eat enough food to put muscle on. Typically it's like you're just stuffing your face with anything you can to try to just get in enough calories for everything that you're burning. But as we get older, we stop playing. We stop moving like we do. We come into the gym and we do a lot of typically bodybuilding, single joint movements, do a lot of just, you know, one plane of motion. So today is a day that uh, we're gonna kind of get out of that school of thought. We're gonna move, we're gonna work on some explosion, explosive stuff. We're gonna do some Olympic lifting, um, coordination, condition, do some core stuff. So this is kind of your, I would say, this is the most important day that you're probably not doing. And the reason I say you're probably not doing it because I know myself, for the longest time when I was bodybuilding, I had my three days on, then I'd take a break. Three days on, then I'd take a break. Come in, three sets, eight to 12, rinse, repeat, do abs, walk on the treadmill, and I just felt like it was this, I didn't necessarily feel like an athlete. So I love doing my bodybuilding. Most of my workouts revolve around getting bigger, getting stronger, biceps, you know, we, we do that all. That's, that's super duper important. But it's also great to be able to feel like you can move, to come in and feel like you're explosive. You could go outside, you could dunk a basketball, you could run a 40 yard dash, you could do all those stuff. So I think it's, this is about having the best of both worlds. So today, we're gonna get after it and we're gonna show you exactly how you guys can do this at, you know, this wherever you're at. And if you can't do everything that we're doing, um, try to adapt it so you are some way, shape or form doing the exercise or the purpose. We're not going to failure with heavy weights, but this is a day that will make you feel good after you're done. Let's jump into it.
so that is a proper active warm up. You guys can hear me right now, I'm breathing hard, sweating a little bit. The whole purpose of a warm up is to get warm. Because I'm out of, a little bit out of shape, that warm up was a little bit more like a cardio segment. But that's where I need to be. I need to be able to get work through that and sweat. Now I'm loose, now we're ready to go. You guys can follow all of those because we put that up on the screen for you. Let me know if you guys like that. If you like where we're just straight educating, putting those, those numbers up so you guys know exactly what we're doing. So I want to start giving you guys more content like this that's going to be free. All right, jumping into our next, our next, uh, our plyos pretty much, our explosive portion. So that was our plyometric section of today. It's amazing that at 225 pounds, Jake's 240 pounds, that right there you take for granted when you're young, when you're an athlete, when you do it often, when you just weight train, weight train, weight train, it's things like that. I'm dead, my knees, my hips, everything, my ankles, the mobility in my ankles when I was doing those single legs skipping, it's like I haven't moved my ankles that much in probably two weeks since I did this last. So. This is why we're incorporating that stuff. You never realize you lose it if you stop using it. So that's what today is all about. And you'll be sore in places you haven't been sore in, in a while. So hopefully again, do all those that we've listed out for you guys. Next thing we're gonna do, a little banded work and then just some all out sprints. Jake made a good point. He's like, yo, even fighters are training like this now. You've been training like this your whole life. What I always tell people, obviously when you age, you're gonna slow down, you're gonna get smaller, but there's always these guys like, man, I'm getting old. Like, I'm just not as fast as I used to be. It's like, all right, when's the last time you sprinted? <laughs> Did one sprint? Oh, uh, when I was in college 10 years ago? Like, yeah, of course you're slow. If we like titled something like this a rest day, people would probably tear us apart. But for us, this is like something on an active rest day where, I mean, this is something that an athlete will do like on, on the field every day. Right. So to say that like, you're gonna be overtrained doing that, that's absurd. But we're gonna do some dynamic effort lifting, but we're gonna go so light that it really is more of a recovery day. Like, I mean, yeah, we're gonna tax our central nervous system a little bit, but it's so light that it's not gonna hurt it too much. Right. And the blood flow is gonna get going. And actually for me, it helps my central nervous system recover. You feel better at yeah, the end of the at day. The end of it, like I'm not taxed at all. My body feels great. And then I'm ready to go later on in the week. And so that's the way that, when I train, I do two hard days, two dynamic effort, but they're like this and it's super light and I get in and out in like an hour. And then I do a couple higher volume days at the end of the week with more like single leg movement, single arm movements, structural balance stuff. And that's how I try to balance it out. And that, that's the key. Besides having fun is training smarter, not harder. So I think, you know, bodybuilding community, we just get accustomed to doing the same old thing. We read over and over and over again, um, you know, training strength, beginning part of the week, having a couple di like a couple days like today, and then doing higher volume stuff, maybe supersetting that chest and back video like we did. Today, I'm gonna feel better at the end of the day. I'm gonna feel my, my hips are open. Yeah, I'll be sore in places that I probably wouldn't be sore normally because I haven't been doing enough of this training, but this is, this is what fitness culture is all about. If you guys aren't used to barbell snatch, just do dumbbell snatch. We showed dumbbell snatch before. You're gonna get a lot of the same benefits here. We're doing just some barbell hang snatch, but don't feel, don't feel like you have to do these if you're new to this. Dumbbell, just as good. All right, next day we're gonna be doing a box squat. Um, it's just a different variation on the squat and my knee's a little messed up, so it's a little easier to go off the box right now. But anyway, we're working at a lower percentage of our max today. People that are advanced trainees can work up to maybe like 75, 70% and still move it fast, but we're using like 30 to 50% today. So after box squat, 
moving quickly, coming over here, picking a light set of dumbbells, something that allows you to just be explosive with. So standing, standing dumbbell jumps. Three in there after we've done our box squats, more than enough. Coach Hutton's a strong dude. He's coached plenty of college players, NFL players. Nice. What we try to do on the speed squat and off the box, if you want to try to kind of find out if you're moving it fast enough, is time it from when your butt's on the box until you lock out. For a six foot person, you want to be around half a second in that time. So it's super quick, boom, boom. But if you're slower than that, then you probably want to lighten the weight. All right, next up, speed reverse lunge with cycle jumps. This isn't, this isn't your real sexy day, because if we have our heavy leg training day in the week, we're working, you know, we're not working body parts, you flex in the mirror here. We're working hips, we're working glutes, we're working some hamstrings, we're working lower back and core. Again, this is stuff that's gonna keep you healthy, keep you mobile. Really wish I would've been doing this a long time ago, and I can't tell you guys, I can't express that enough, because I want you guys not to make the same mistakes I did. So if you guys want, to have longevity, to have the physique you want, you still have to train this way. You still have to take care of your body. So these recovery days are super important. I think more people don't probably train like this. There's no like pump involved. You're not coming in and hitting arms or chest and walking out with this amazing pump. But what you're doing is you're extending your career in the gym. You're able to take care of your body for longer, which is gonna allow you to come in more often throughout the years and train the way you should be training. Super fortunate to have Coach Hutton around. This is all his department. As a strength coach, as somebody who's been to the CrossFit Games, an all-freshman All-American at Utah State, could step on a bodybuilding stage. So Jake's gonna be explaining what we're doing this last round. So what are we doing here? We're just doing a little circuit at the end. This is actually super conventional stuff. Terminal knee extension. It's just good for your knee health, good for your VMO. We're just doing 15 reps each leg. Then we're doing some reverse hypers for our low back, some bulldog stuff for our hips and then some stuff for our groin. So just stuff that's like commonly overworked that we usually warm up with th these kind of things every day anyway, but then on a recovery day, I always like to hammer them really hard for like five sets just to really uh, kind of like bulletproof those areas. So this is pretty much a leg extension, but... Yeah, it's like a knee extension for the band. Yeah. But I, think, I feel like you get like a way better contraction you do. all the way terminally through. It's called a TKE, it's a terminal knee extension. A TKE, damn man. Open up a new, a whole new playbook up in here today. This is a super cool machine. Jake's gonna explain it while I do it here. Cause this one, I feel like this one is my best friend right now with my lower back injuries. These things fire the glutes. Make sure you squeeze them. There you go. So let me make it so you can't go up as high. There you go. Squeeze them hard. Oh, there you go. So this is the bulldog complex. You can see the bands around Jake's ankles there. He's pretty much, picture a little bulldog pissing on a fire hydrant. You see how slowly his knee is coming up. He's, at, he's able to get parallel with the ground there. So he's, he's getting a little bit over 90 degrees. All right, we're gonna start calling these Jean-Claude Van Dams because they've ever seen the Bloodsport movie. You see him up above Hong Kong outside of his hotel balcony in a complete split position. The reason we're doing them up against something because obviously if you're just doing them without holding on to anything and you start slipping, it's gonna be painful. All right guys, that is it for our recovery video. Make sure you thumbs up for Coach Hutton. We're gonna start referring to him as Coach Hutton in here. 
I love the fact that I can I can tell you anything there is to know about the bodybuilding you know exercises and things like that but I think that's only part of the equation getting big and getting strong that's great but we start talking about pliability we start talking about injury prevention being more athletic more explosive that's the kind of stuff that fitness culture our app you know we're gonna have a power program we're gonna have an athlete program um, because we have the people that are so knowledgeable you know coach Allen at the University of Houston people that went to school for this and not to take anything away from the people who are out there on Instagram singing programs or talking about how much they deadlift or anything like that that's great but you know for the average person we want to make sure that we're taking a really a holistic approach from every aspect injury prevention being more athletic more mobile stronger bigger that's what fitness culture is all about anyhow make sure you guys give this a like if you feel like subscribing definitely subscribe we'll be doing a lot more of these videos um and yeah we're getting mirrors this week we have equipment we have new bars we have so many things rolling into the gym we got speakers in here so we're gonna start getting it pumping and uh, a lot of exciting stuff so thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time